heartbreaking loss for the Rangers on Sunday in Game 3 of their Eastern Conference Final Series against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Here with me to talk some Rangers hockey is SNY contributor Anthony McCarron. Anthony, good to see you. Game 3 had to be a tough pill to swallow for the Blue Shirts. They were buzzing in the first two periods, Anthony, up two goals. So what happened after the Kucherov goal that seemed to turn this game around? Well, first off, I think that got the crowd back into it because that you could even hear it on TV that they were not really into the game after the Rangers jumped out to the lead. And then this is something that the Rangers, the players themselves complained about afterward, that in the third period, they laid back a little too much. And, you know, we had a desperate, furious rush by a two-time defending Stanley Cup Lightning team. And that's not really the way to approach that because they got their chances and eventually one was going to go in. And it did at the end with less than a minute to play. And I think another big moment in that third period was the Jacob Truba penalty that really ate into that four-minute Ranger power play. They didn't get much going on the power play at the beginning. Then there was that penalty, and, and it sort of ate up most of the rest of the time uh, with the man advantage. So that really, I thought, hurt the Ranger momentum in, in that third period, and it led to bad things at the end. Bad things at the end. Now, after the game, Chris Kreider blamed himself, saying that he was puck watching. So do you think Kreider taking the blame here is fair? Well, it's interesting because he sort of jumped in on that question, which was asked to, to he and Mika Zibanejad, and he wanted to take that question. So he wanted to get it out there that he felt he was out of position, that he could have stopped that play before it really got going. You know, but the, and, and maybe if he, he said he was too far back, and maybe if he had been a little more forward, the puck would have fallen right near him and he could have whacked it out of the zone. You know, then everything got crazy with the puck bouncing right to the Tampa Bay point. They made a couple of nice passes, including an incredible one by Kucherov to set up the goal, and that ended up in, in the net and, and killing the Rangers' hopes there. But look, I mean, Kreider taking responsibility, I don't mind it. I thought it was like a, you know, a leadership moment for him when he jumped in on the question. Uh, you know, Gerard Gallant wouldn't, uh, wouldn't blame him, though. He said he didn't think Chris did anything wrong there. So I, I think he'll move on from that uh, easily for Game 4. Now, moving on to Game 4, it appears that all the momentum is on the side of the Lightning here. How does what happened in Game 3 impact the Rangers' focus for Game 4? Well, it's a great question. And look, in, in pro sports, we know that uh, fans and media, we love momentum. It's our catnip, right? Because it, it's a great narrative for series. Uh, but I think players uh, really focus on the here and now, or at least they, they try to. And that is certainly the Rangers' way. Gerard Gallant has said he does not believe in momentum. And uh, look, Chris Kreider said it after game three. You could almost hear Gallant whispering in his ear maybe a little bit uh, when he said every in the playoffs, every shift, every period, every game is its own entity. And, you know, if they really do hew to that mindset, then I think they're going to be fine. Because let's remember that they had a chance to win a tough road game against the two-time defending Stanley Cup champions, except for a late letdown. Uh, you know, even though they were outplayed, I thought, for, uh, obviously in the third period and a little bit in the second as well. So they were in a decent position. And I think if they, if they cling to that part of it, they can go forward here uh, in game four. Uh, I don't think they have any means to hang their heads. They played pretty well in this series so far, and they look like a tough out, as uh, they love to say in hockey. We shall see. That is SNY contributor Anthony McCarron. Anthony, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me.